they told me that my daughter was missing. Khalil was a janitor who worked at the shelter. Khalil was a suspect after they found his wife deceased in a hotel. An anonymous tip, it led the police to the park. They found Khalil's body. The authorities are saying that he died from apparent suicide. They are saying that Khalil plays a role in this by kidnapping my daughter. When I saw the footage of Khalil and my daughter walking down a hotel hallway, that made my mouth drop. I was informed that my stepdaughter was missing on the 19th. That's the day I found out is when the world found out. Antonio, you know I didn't have anything to do with my daughter's disappearance. Why would you come out your mouth like that? You don't act like a mother is grieving that you got an eight-year-old child missing. I never seen you cry. Oh, I you seen me cry. I never you seen, seen me cry. you cry. cry. What do you believe happened to your daughter? When I called a family member up, she didn't make it to the destination where she was supposed to go at. She was supposed to be going to the emergency room. Supposed Who was taking her there? My mother. How did you not know that she had been missing for 18 days? I didn't have any contact. Why not? I didn't have a phone. This janitor that you see in the video, what was your relationship with him? Khalil. I didn't have a relationship with him. He had a relationship with a family member of mine. Do you believe that your daughter had something to do with your granddaughter's of course. disappearance? You do. I believe. Your daughter's adamant that you gave I know. your I your know. granddaughter Tell to Tell him to take a lie detector test. Mm. I took it. Well, that's Antonio, why I'm here. You came here, took a lie detector test, and that's we why asked I'm here. you. Did you participate in any way in the disappearance of Relisha? You answer no. Have you ever had any sexual physical contact with Relisha? You answered no. Did you ever strike any of your children leaving marks or bruises? You answered no. The results came back the same to each and every question and they came back that Antonio told the truth. Melissa, you took a lie detector test and we asked you, did you participate in any way in the disappearance of your granddaughter? You answered no. Did you give your granddaughter to Khalil Tatum around the time of her disappearance? You answered no, and the results came back that you, Melissa, told the truth. Your turn! Your turn! You don't have to take a test, but you're not eliminating yourself as a suspect in the disappearance Let of your daughter. Let me tell you something. You, I believe, you have believe? something to do with her disappearance. After the show aired, thousands of people took to social media condemning Shamika for not taking a lie detector test. It's been three years since her appearance on my show, and now she is joining us virtually. When you watch the clips of being on the show, what do you feel about it? I don't feel no type of way about it because I'm a strong individual. What's your reaction to the people that wrote the comments about you? I don't have to let the whole world know what I am doing for my daughter. If they want to know I'm currently active on my daughter's case, yes, I am. I talked to the new detective that's on there, but I don't have to let the world know that. We asked you to take a lie detector test. You, were, you refused three years ago to take it. If you were here now when we offered it to you, would you take it? No, I wouldn't take it, because why would I put my trust into something, into a machine, Steve? That's, that machine is not going to help me find my daughter. All that, uh, go take a lie detector test to clear your name out, for what? There is a doubt about you and what you know, and I think that if you did take a lie detector test, at least that part would be eliminated if you passed a lie detector test. Okay, I understand what you're saying. Is there any new leads in your daughter's case? There's, have, there's been a couple of leads that turned out to be bogus leads. Do you believe Antonio was involved with the disappearance of your daughter? Yes, I do. And why do you, why do you say that? It's the way he come off at me. Like, instead of you worrying about the things you need to be worried about, you're too busy worried about me, what I'm doing. Have you had any communication with Antonio since you were on the show? I have not had any communications with him at all. Your ex, Antonio... Uh, is here VCC. Let's bring him out. I, I don't get it with you. 
because you, you so mad at me. me. You are so mad at me because I keep Melissa name out there. I keep her relevant. Who are you to tell anybody to stop talking about my daughter, Antonio? At the end of the day, I'm going to always be there for Melissa. I was more of a parent to her than you was. You have not been I talking not been to been the talking detectives. To I know, because so. I've been a constant You don't girl. know. And you trust don't me, know. believe me. They on, you that you got know. new leads, and they are coming closer to your ass. I know that. Why is it so important to you that you don't want me out here keep a religious story out here because at the end of the day, you're it's not, not doing it. You still are actively looking for Relisha? All day, every day, Steve. I'm never going to stop despite what she said. You never okay. was a father. I'm sorry to okay. say that, but I hate your ass with my stinking ass gut. Do you believe mm -hmm. that Relisha is still alive? I got mixed feelings now. You took a lie detector test. Shamika's mother took a lie detector test. I asked Shamika if she would take an, another lie detector test. She still refuses to. I don't understand why she won't take it. Me, personally, I think she's scared to take it because it's going to prove that she know more than what she's saying. And because of this incident with Relisha, you have two children with Shamika, right? And they were taken mm -hmm. away. What's right. the status with those two children now? Uh, unfortunately, they still in foster care, but, you know, just take it one day at a time. I think that's my punishment for just not being the protector that Melissa thought I was for her. So that's, like, my biggest regret, Steve, is just not, you know, protecting her. My theory is Shamika handed over Melissa in the wrong place at the wrong time and that she got herself into a situation that she didn't know how to get out of. Yeah. And and in result, Relisha paid the price for. I think the big red flag in this story is that there was an 18-day period where Shamika had no idea where her daughter was, made no effort to have any contact with her daughter. I believe because she was hiding something. Now Shamika has uh, left our conference call. Why do you think she's upset that you're looking for her daughter still? Because I don't believe her. Have you heard of any major developments in the case? But that just, just told that they got new leads and they was getting close to bringing Shamika in for questions. I mm -hmm. do think there's some very suspicious behavior on Shamika's part again. And then the, the guy who ends up killing himself. When I found out the day that Relisha was missing, you know, Khalil, he was still at the shelter. Long story short, I said, Khalil, they saying you got militia. The police officer is looking for you. You need to go up there and talk to him. He turned around and said, Mr. Antonio, I'm not trying to keep your daughter. I'm going to bring her back. Those are the last words Khalil told me. Do you believe that there was uh, some relationship between Khalil and Shamika? Yeah, I do. I always did. This would be just god awful. Could Shamika have took money from Khalil for uh, Relisha? I'm not going to say for Relisha because the sex trafficking was ruled out in her case, but I believe Shamika has received money and other, and, and other accolades from uh, Khalil, yes. If Relisha somehow watched this show, what would you say to her? Relisha, daddy love you. I'm going to keep fighting for you. I'm, I'm looking. I never gave up. And when we find you, you will be forever safe. You will never leave my side again. Promise you. It's very rare that somebody disappears off the face of the earth. She always told the kids that she would give them away. So it's just like, now is the fact that it's actually happening. Like, you know what you did with Alicia. It was on Instagram. It was a fake uh, uh, page. It was Shamika. Basically telling me that I shouldn't be out here advocating for Alicia. Alicia is okay. Just know when she come home, she's going to be away from you. I'm asking her so you know where Alicia is. She say, don't worry about it, mind your business. She's not your daughter. She not will be your daughter. I hope one way or the other that justice is given for Relisha that either she's found or we find out what happened to her and if somebody did something bad to her that they're brought to justice. I think the worst thing that could ever happen to a parent as a child is turning up missing. So Without um, a trace, it is like, and I don't want no other parent going through what I had to experience. Like, when you don't know where they at for hours at a time, years at a time, it really take a mental drain on, 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 on a person. I just want to tell everybody with children, just keep your children safe and love them. And when they tell you something not right, listen. Believe them. It is a lie. Just believe your children.
Well, thank you for joining us, Antonio. We wish you nothing but the best. If anyone has any information relating to this case, please call 202-727-9099.